Yippee, yippee. Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to Cloudy Cleric. My name is Oliver. Hi, hello. I'm back. We're so back, gang. I'm locking in. I'm I'm back. In case you're wondering where I've been. Actually, I've been on this channel. So I don't even need to say where I've been because I've been doing my podcast. You should go watch my podcast if you don't. But I had the ACTs, so I didn't make a video the week before the ACTs because I was fucking stressed out of my mind and I had a bunch of nosebleeds. I, it was very... 11 and then the act happened and I, I had a huge nosebleed right before we took the test so that was fun and then i was completely wiped out and then i went to california and then my movie started getting made and we're doing production pre-production being a director is so stressful i mean i like it but it's stressful and i haven't had a time I'm not gonna lie, I've had time to record a video i just haven't gotten around to it guess what i'm getting around to it right now at 2.30 on a Thursday. Even though a podcast episode will be coming out um, tomorrow. I just wanted to kind of chill today. I was like, I want to film a chill video that's funny and entertaining. So I was like, might as well answer some Tumblr asks. Okay, I recently rewatched my one of my videos. I forgot which one. And I was like, wow, this is so funny and I should do this again because I had a good time. Kidoki. Okay, so I have 50 whole asks let's go back to the very very beginning oh wait this is so sweet it's november 25th 2023 and somebody said this is my first ask ever i have a crush on my best friend she's a girl and so i am i love lesbians and so i was afraid of hurting or losing them anyway yesterday i confessed to them through a letter and now i'm going through a difficult time because it's the weekend they've definitely read it and they haven't responded i'm so sorry i hope they've responded by now i'm 100 sure that they don't like me back in that way girl we're in the same boat i'll see them on monday at school and then go to school camp with them and then sleep in the same tent with them for three nights. I hope I don't die. I, okay. That's not how you spell worked. Do I have permission to edit you as the real Will Byers? Always. If Will and Mike get together, let's be honest, they will. Do you think L that L Max will follow or do you think Byler will happen after L dies? It's a, a secret third option. Byler happens and everyone lives happily ever after. Hello, I love you. I love you, babe. No, I don't like the babe. I love you too. New Bylers will never know the pain and hardship the fandom went through in July of 2022. It was a rough time to be a Bylers Dan back then. No literally i really want to make a uh, a video or i guess it'd be more of a video essay about script gates there's so much to unpack there like i don't even know to where to begin because script gate was just kind of like this big clusterfuck it always haunts me the only reason i started posting on byler tumblr like the only reason my blog ever started gaining attention in the first place is because i would post memes about byler script and then people thought they were funny and then i was like oh i'm just gonna keep posting other things and that's why my that's why cloudy cleric exists what's your favorite headcanon of what will and mike would be like as a couple my fave 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 headcanon is that they would adopt a cat together and it would be a ginger main coon and they would name him something stupid like speckles what's your top three byler scenes and why honorable mentions are allowed this is a good one okay so how do i even organize them i feel like i need a whiteboard i need my chapstick i can't do this with dry lips I don't know why I acted like I just drank some water. Um, well, the scenes that are coming to mind right now, the scenes that I'm thinking about, you could say, the things that I am culminating on. <laughs> Col Colin, Edward Colin. Edward Colin, oh shit. Uh, sorry, one. Van scene, Miss Van scene. Sorry, Vanji, RuPaul's Drag Race. I heart Van scene. I had the, the monologue memorized. I'm gonna prove it right now. This, Oliver monologue. This is a video, an old video of me. I don't know why I looked like that. Another one I'm thinking of, rain fight scene crazy together. Okay, I think that's a solid lineup. One's gay pining, one's gay argument, and one is just gay. Honorable mentions, cabin scene, not possible 
loved scene. Byler, movie theater. Can we include ones from the VR game? The nosebleed scene from the VR, from the VR game. Byler asks, send me dirty asks. Please do not send me dirty asks. How gay are you on a scale of one to Will Byers? Will Byers. Anyways, I am so gay. This one isn't Stranger Things, but I'd still like to answer this. Have you watched Good Omens? Because if you haven't, you should. I've read the book, but I have not watched the TV series. I thought the book was funny and good, and like I grew up going to a Catholic school and also like a Christian church evangelical. So I, I was laughing and goofing off, and I love sacrilegious things. I also want to know do you hate Malevin or do you just dislike it because of Byler? Like if Byler wasn't a thing, you would still hate Malevin. So, if Byler was not a thing, I feel like in the first two seasons I would tolerate it. Like, I'd be like, aww, two kids that have no idea what they're doing, and they think that they like each other. I also went through that when I was little, and I was like, this guy is a guy, and that means I must like him, and we're gonna have a fake elementary school relationship. I guess Malevin was in middle school. I'm going- okay, sixth grade is basically elementary school. After, like, in season three, I think it's especially annoying, and then in season four, you're just like- you are not compatible. Like, nobody's forcing you to date each other. Let's look at some of the newer asks. Oh, I've gotten an ask. My god, it is from really cool. That- oh, me. Me walking. Why he like that, though? Sorry. <laughs> why- why does he look like that? This looks- is this AI generated? Because this looks fucking AI generated. Wait. <laughs> why is he like that? Who let him out of his cage? He is a menace. You are literally one of my favorite YouTubers right now. What is your favorite Byler theory? Parrotgate. Just kidding. There's so many. Uh, I definitely have a least favorite. That's a video coming soon. That's that's an entirely different video that is coming soon. That I've been writing, but I'm scared to post. Even though I somewhat talked about it before, I just don't want to make a whole ass, like, video specifically about it. So, like, when people click in, they know what I'm talking about. What's your favorite Bio Theory? See, I'm thinking about Lettergate and Flickergate and Birthday Gate and Power School. The fuck's wrong with you, power school? So many things happening all at once. Basement gate theory? I don't know if that's really a theory, and that's not really a gate. The basement theory where Mike was sad after Will left and spent all day playing video games in the basement and trying to call Will, but the buyers is phone line was busy. No, that makes me like actually shit myself and cry. I hate that. Oh, okay. I wanted to read this. I wanted to post this and I'm going to read through it. I had an Anon talking with me. We were talking about Weezer and they said something like, I'm a Weezer fan. And I said, get well soon. It was funny. We were joking. We were haha -ha laughing back and forth. This is the Anon explaining Weezer theory. I love Weezer theory. I think that is a great name. Weezer Blue album released in 1994 on May 10th. Mike will be around 23 years old during this year. He will still have that teenager flair to him. I think he will always have his teenager flair to him until he's like 40. Many people find comfort in music. Mike is one of those people. Grunge music is filled with murkiness like it, but lacked that little nerd in it. Oh shit, wait, you right. Mike will probably like it, but the nerd was missing. Okay, yeah, because that's a really... I feel like a lot of people had canon that Mike likes grunge, but like also Weezer is like... Sorry, I I don't want like musical elitists to come after me, but it, it has that nerd aspect, that nerd, the nerd element. Eddie was a metalhead. It's probably rubbed off on Mike. Yeah, environment can affect a person's music taste. You know how Argyle has hippie music that sounds happy. Yes, Eddie's music mixed with Argyle's music is it it formed. Oh wait, shit, you right. Argyle music, Eddie music. Weezer. Fun fact, uh, the lead singer of Weezer was a metalhead. You are on to something. You are cooking. Okay, we're getting in the real deal now. Now let's move on to the song meanings that Mike can find comfort in. The Blue Album, of course. The world has turned and left me here. Basically a breakup song. This can tie into Byler with Will. 
That's so sad, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> Theory debunked. Undone the sweater song. That's a good song. I listen. I Sorry, I'm a Weezer poser. It's a sad song that people think is funny. As the lead singer of Weezer puts it, this can show Mike can hide his emotions with sarcasm, which he does. Oh, for sure. Buddy Holly. I love that song. This song is meant to defend your lover. Cough, cough, by the cough, cough. These are small sample sizes, but they do go a long way. If you plug in the pieces, the gayness goes hard with Weezer. That is quite possibly my favorite sentence that I've read today. Mike is a Weezer fan confirmed. You sold me. You're kind of a genius. Genius. Gen 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 genius. What is the silliest Will Byers moment you think? What is the silliest Will Byers moment you think? Destroying Castle Byers. Yeah, he was a little silly for that. That's some shit I would do as a kid. If I was really disappointed in myself, I would like take all the sheets off my bed and I'd be like, fuck this. Yeah, autism will do that to you. If you enjoyed this video, this is kind of a more laid back chill video where I, I didn't really plan anything. I just, I just wanted to make a video. I wanted to get something out there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I make videos similar to this and then also more thought out videos that are coming out soon. A lot having to deal with Byler or Byler Tumblr or drama that is very adjacent to Byler Tumblr because Lord knows I'm making like two videos in the future about that because holy fuck man and then people are gonna send me a lot of hate asks and that's fine. On Fridays I have a podcast where I go over everything that has happened in the season five production for that week. If that's something that interests you please please subscribe but until I see you next time um bye. Bye, 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 bye.